What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So a lot of people always ask the question about, you know, green screens and chroma key and uh, is it expensive to do? And uh, do you have to kick out a lot of money to uh, do chroma key, to do green screen effects and stuff like that? So in this video, guys, I'm gonna share with you how easy it is to do green screen effects. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric Beck with another video. So what you're looking at behind me right now, uh, the, the background is green screen, right? This is a total different background. And I made videos about green screen effects before, but I think I need to share with you guys some updated content. And look, green screen video is not as hard as you think. Uh, doing green screen videos and, and, and having green screens is not as bad as you think. So let me tell you this scenario. Right now, I'm recording all of this from a smartphone, right? The LG G8, and I have an external mic. And from the LG G8 in manual mode, of course, uh, I can chroma key out the background. So let me show you how the background look without chroma key. Boom. So what you're looking at right now is just the green screen and me just sitting in a chair actually. So I'm sitting in a chair, talking to you guys and all you see is green screen. And this cloth that you are seeing behind me, I think I paid about 30 bucks. So let's talk about the scenario. You know, $30 for the cloth, right? The phone that you already have in your pocket, it don't have to be an LG phone, it could be a Samsung phone or an iPhone, right? And I'm using a $30 external mic and I'm using a tripod, right? So tripod, phone, external mic, chroma key, and I'm just sitting in a regular chair. So the phone you already have, you can do green screen effects. Green screen effects is all about editing, right? So right now I can change the backgrounds, I can do anything I wanna do, and this is what I like to do. Now, in, in this scenario right here, in my studio, yes, it's, it's a lot professional. I do have studio lights. So you do have to have some type of lighting. Uh, whether or not uh, you have well lit lighting in the room that you're going to do your green screen or you're going to buy your professional lighting. Now, I chose to do professional lighting so I could get that even effect using the green screen. So as you can see, the, the green screen looked very even. Uh, and so it is a powerful thing if you want to bring your YouTube channel or bring your edit into the next level. So using green screen effects is very, very easy. Nothing hard to do. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the computer, right? And I am going to show you on a relatively, you know, easy software to quickly chroma key out this scenario. So let's go to the computer. All right, guys, so I got my computer set up here and I'm gonna show you guys using Camtasia. Now Camtasia, is a relatively easy uh, editing software where you can probably get for about, a, I think 100, 200 bucks, which is relatively cheap for very good editing software. Now, listen, you can use any editing software you like if it have Chrome and Key. And so let me show you guys real quick. And what I did was I, I, I just put in some videos that I've done in the past, but the scenario here is the same. Uh, and so what I want to show you really quick is that I do have all green screen effect videos right here. And I just want to show you guys real quick, put it on the timeline, right? And I'm using Camtasia. And as you can see, the whole background is green. And as I go here and I'm sitting down and as you can see me real quick, uh, sitting here. So basically all I do is I go to visual effects, right? And really easy. Remove a color, I take it and drag it to the timeline, and boom. Now I have to go over here and I have to click the down button and use this little hourglass type thing, little pointer, 
and I kind of get it right in my face a little bit right here, and boom, here it goes. So in this scenario, I've chroma keyed almost my whole body. Now I do have some green stuff here, and then what, what I do is I take my tolerance right in this area, and I kind of use my tolerance to kind of go up and down until I get all the green out. Now if I go too far, as you can see, that I start getting myself uh, kind of blacked out. So I go tolerance right about here. Then I take my softness, and you can take your softness and go in and out here if I wanted to kind of get myself a little darker. But what the softness does, it softens the body. So I go a little here. You have to play around with it. You definitely have to play around with this. And then if you look at the hue, you can change the color and I could change the, my color there. Actually, I could change you know, the color of the shirt. I could change the color of me. If I want to go real deep into the hue, I could do that. But I'm gonna take the hue and I'm gonna keep it natural. And uh, so right here, and I could go to the D-frame and I could go in and out and it would change the color also, but you just have to play around with it. Boom. So at this point, I am completely out of the background. The green is gone. And so at this point, I could take and change the background. So I have a lot of backgrounds already pre-done, right? So just say for instance, I, I did a, um, a, a video, which I was in the snow and stuff like that. I did some uh, B-rolls and I'm just gonna use this for video purposes, right? And boom, here it is. Right, and this going on to turn down the sound. And so as you can see, the background is different. If I play this, I'm talking and now look at that. Absolutely amazing how you could do chroma key. Really easy, really cheap uh, right here. Now, me as, a, as my body right here, I could take this and I could move it around. Just say if I want to move it here and I could make myself big or small, right? And boom, I could go right there. And so if I go here, start it over, and there it is. So now I have a background moving, right? I have the background moving and I'm in the background and it's all chroma keyed out. This is how simple it is. Um, and I use this all from a phone uh, and a relatively cheap mic and green screen effects. That's it. Now I do use Adobe Premiere Pro if I want to get a lot of that good chroma key out. I can kind of get most of that green out, but you can use the tolerance level to go back and forth if you like. Uh, and the only reason why I didn't want to use Adobe Premiere Pro because we know how Adobe Premiere is pretty expensive. A lot of people don't want to pay, you know, the uh, every the monthly fee for from Adobe. And you can al always do this on Final Cut Pro if you have a Mac. But if you have any kind of software out there that you want to use to chroma key yourself out, uh, this is great, right? So I did all of this here, relatively cheap, relatively easy. Uh, this kind of record myself, put it on editing software, chroma key myself out, and boom, there it is. I can change the background and do everything I like. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about chroma key and green screen and it's relatively easy and it's relatively cheap. See you guys on the next video. Peace.